Take a look at how much damage Solar Beam does now. Look at this, her health bar completely evaporates. And you think, Shirko, why are you keeping the clip rolling? Because of course I'm gonna hit that man, I'm the sniper man. Absolutely mental outplay incoming. We use the sludge bomb, we shoot the solar beam, it does so much damage right there, man. But then the wild charge almost one shots me. However, I have my unite move up and take a look at this solar beam right through both of them. But we don't stop there because this is gonna be an oh baby, a triple. Oh yeah, take a look at this, man. We chase the Gardevoir right here or the Kirlia, whatever it's called. And we avoid the Psyshock, hit the Solar Beam, and it is complete. Yo, you're watching Shirko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite, and in this video we will be checking out Venusaur with that buffed Solar Beam build. On the new Halloween update, guys, they ended up nerfing the Giga Drain and Petal Dance build, although if you checked out one of my previous videos, which was a detailed patch analysis where I go throughout uh, the actual numbers of the balance changes, you probably noticed that I was saying that Venusaur is still gonna be OP. The Giga Drain nerf wasn't enough, but today we're actually not gonna be taking a look at this. Once again, we're gonna be going for that Solar Beam build because it received a pretty nice little buff. It deals a lot more damage to tanks now because it has that maximum health percentage bonus damage attached to it uh, based on the enemy's maximum health. And that got buffed by a little bit. So now you will not only completely be the nightmare of squishy enemy Pokemon, but also the nightmare of tanks. And that is honestly um, wasn't needed. As you guys know, probably if you watched any of my previous Solar Beam Venusaur videos, I'm a huge fan of this. I think this is still... Uh, the best mage in the entire game. I think it takes the cake over Cremorant for me even. And yeah, it's really, really fun to play as well. Super strong. The best late game, long range, mage, menace, whatever. You know, even better than a Gardevoir. It's absolutely crazy. And yeah, it's very, very difficult to play though. Compared to that Giga Drain Petal Dance build especially. Now, before we get into the build, before I narrate over this crazy master gameplay, by the way, this was truly... The late game was just a work of art, I'm gonna be honest. Um, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any further Pokemon Unite content on this beautiful channel. Now, let's get into it. Build, held items, super obvious. Both special attack uh, glasses, so not the special attack specs, we're not gonna be scoring a lot. Uh, as a ranged character but yeah choice specs and the wise glasses gonna add so much damage to your solar beam then we have the focus band for my defensive choice because i feel like body barrier is not as worth on this long range venusaur gameplay because usually you're gonna you're gonna use the unite move all the way from downtown mate they're not gonna be close to hitting you at all and then that shield is just wasted in my opinion the focus band is gonna be a lot more um, you know consistent with that and it really really saves you a lot against these pesky speedsters and then for the move set of course sludge bomb solar beam once again super obvious the sludge bomb reduces enemy special defense if you didn't know so it's really really important to use that properly before you line up that solar beam if they are in range for the sludge bomb but there we go we hit level seven we had an amazing uh, early game so far already with that lucario we were able to secure a lot of these wild pokemon not a lot of takedowns so far but just a lot of wild pokemon um, just stolen away from the enemy laners which is something that you can really do pretty well as a Venusaur even before the Solar Beam, but as soon as you get the Solar Beam, you're just cracked out, mate. And again, it also helps a lot on this Dreadnought. You can see how much damage it does there to the Dreadnought. It helps for the Zapdos last hit, you know, that maximum percentage HP. Because of course, these objectives have a lot of maximum health, you know, so the Solar Beam is gonna deal a ton more damage to them. Um, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. As I'm saying, we are able to get the Dreadnought. We're able to get a couple takedowns. We're able to 
push down that tower I make my way instantly into the center position here because I want these middle lobsters we need a lot of experience on this build we need uh, to be a high level because the solar beam gets a huge cooldown reduction as soon as you upgrade it as soon as you hit level 13 so you need level 13 as fast as possible and yeah take a look at these snipes man i'm just i'm telling you it's absolutely insane just look at this man you i'm playing so well with my index finger here because my index finger is constantly on the minimap right now as you're seeing i'm walking I'm using my index finger, my left one, on the minimap to uh, scout ahead of me, which is very difficult to keep it that steady, really not easy, don't underestimate it, guys. A lot of people ask me, what's the trick? There's no trick. I practiced this for a year until it became uh, this steady in other mobile mobiles, so th there really is no trick, guys. And look at this, guys. It's just mental. You've seen this in the intro, but it's just mental, man. I do so much damage and I completely outplay that. Like, come on, bro. Is this not super satisfying? Look at this, man. Third challenger comes in as well. But I'm the gladiator of the arena. Boom! She's gone, man. She's gone. She ain't coming back. She's gone. Just like her ex-girlfriend. Huh? I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry man. I picked that joke up on one other YouTube channel and sometimes I repeat it. But whenever I do that man, people get sad in the comments and I should really stop doing that. But I don't know, I just... She gone. She gone, man. She gone. Anyway guys, uh, yeah. Solar beam, crazy damage. Gotta practice that index finger. See, look how steady it is. Try it out on your mobile phone. I promise you, you won't be able to do it that steady while walking, while aiming, okay? You have three fingers on your screen and the minimap movement with the index finger is very, very, very... Um, what is the word? Sensitive, exactly. It's very sensitive. So even if you move a little bit, even if you're shaking a little bit on that finger, boom, your camera is going crazy. So. Truly, truly difficult, um, but very rewarding if you're able to do that on those long-range characters like that Venusaur, um, like that. Even even for the Cinderace Pyroball, I use it all the time. Even for the Greninja Shuriken, uh, just in general for every character, honestly, when you're in fights. Of course, on Switch it is different. You use the L button on your um, controller. So it is going to be a little bit different, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be easier, but it's also worse because you can't do, uh, you can't aim at the same time because you're using the right stick to scroll the map. So keep that in mind, a little bit worse there on that one. But yeah, we're doing extremely well, as you can see, man, we're in a really nice lead. And if you didn't notice, I didn't score at all so far. That is not a mistake. That is just not something you're supposed to do as a ranged, squishy character. And here we get caught completely, man. But I am able to smurf with my Unite move, man. And take a look at this damage, bro. Do you think this works? This is the buff right there, man. What was that damage? I was so surprised it took him down. I was like, okay, I'm going to poke him and he's going to have to go back. And then I wasted my Unite move and it's bad before the Zapdos, but oh well, at least I didn't die and he had to go back as well. So they, there's a 4v4 on the map for the time being until I'm back. But no, no man, he just gets taken down. It's crazy damage. I'm telling you, it's crazy damage. This is such a strong Pokemon, man, with this build. And once again, we are here, we're chilling. Uh, we're just defending the Zapdos. My team knows we are ahead. We don't need to go deep uh, for the Zapdos. We don't need to start it. We can just try to take down the enemies. Try to stabilize the situation. The greed and a little bit brain damage. It is what it is. Starts the Zapdos. But at least he realizes as well after many backpings that he shouldn't do that. <laughs> and yeah. Now I am just chilling here. I'm just sniping but I miss. And that would have been a takedown. But my huge sludge bomb is super useful as well. And keep in mind, I didn't even hit level 13 yet. So I didn't even play that well. And here, look at this. We use the eject button during while I'm swiping the minimap once again with the index finger. And then we use the solar beam as well. 
just beautiful meta awareness man i'm able to stop the 50 there not only that but also get the takedown i scoot away from that guard of our unite move and once again we just do so much damage we die in the end to the point click zero aura unite move not much i can do to uh, to avoid that but only 37 seconds left on the clock we are well ahead in this game he's not able to get the score which um, is okay because it puts a lot of pressure anyway onto them i pinged the top point because the guard war was going there my teammates already realized though very well done by them and they are defending my lucario also goes bot to defend man not only did he play the laning phase well but he knows where the enemies are gonna come and yeah super satisfying late game man we're able to no one takes the zapdos we just perfectly uh protected it man we're able to use our unite move once again at the end to do a ton of damage and i'm telling you beautiful man i love this build so much super low score game i didn't score at all which again uh, don't go now and whenever you're playing a ranged character, don't score at all. You're still supposed to score when you can, but I just didn't have any opportunities or maybe I had opportunities. Nobody's perfect, guys. Um, but I didn't see them. Could be as well. But again, not a big deal if you don't score a lot on these ranged characters because at the end of the day, you're just supposed to top out the damage charts, which we did in this game. We hit a lot of these snipes. Beautiful gameplay. And lots of crazy outplays as well, man. I'm telling you, huge fan of this Venusaur. Um, I still think Petal Dance Giga Drain is going to be broken, man. I'm going to make a video about that as well. Because again, the nerf was not enough. However, it is a step into the right direction, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this changed Venusaur, about this buffed build, about the nerf build as well in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!